everybody. This is Nick with Frost CNC. And one of the most common questions I get uh, as I work with Mosaic users uh, around the country is, how do I do a blind dado drawer box in Mosaic uh, without qualified tenants and without a plant on front? And so I've designed this drawer box uh, to do just that. This drawer box is available on frostcnc.com if you would like to use it. Uh, but I'm going to quick show you how it works. Let's do it. All right, so before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and follow along with our Mosaic content. Um, we're going to show these drawer boxes quickly here. So we'll go to the settings. And so what you're going to get uh, from FrostCNC.com, if you want to use this box, is you're going to get eight total items. You're going to get four different drawer boxes. You can see here different dado depths. Um, and whether there's a fixed or parametric version of, of the joinery. And you'll see the same thing here with the trays. You'll see four different options that you're going to have um, to use however you would like. All right. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go show one of them. You kind of see how it works here. We're going to go up to libraries and drawer boxes. And I'll go ahead and select the 3 uh parametric version. So first thing I want to say is uh, I would hesitate to change any of this information when you get this drawer box. So it's set up in a way that uh, you know, it's really not easy to change the dado depth there. So if you do need it to be different, feel free to reach out and I can, I can help you out. But just know that if I change this to, let's say, a quarter, the box isn't going to work. Okay. So you're pretty much stuck at, at these sizes that, that these say currently. Um, but what's the difference between the parametric version here and the fixed version? Well, if I click on the parametric version, let's say I look at this front detail here. You can see that I've shaped this part with the blind dado parameter right there. So those of you doing blind dado uh, frameless construction, you're already familiar with this parameter and it's likely already set in your construction method. And so really your drawer box is gonna be built the same way your, your blind dado casework will be. Now, this is a problem for uh, face frame builders who are likely doing a full dado is this parameter is likely zero in their construction method. And so that's the reason why I also made a fixed version. So if I go here to the fixed version of this box and I click on this front, you can see what I've done here is I essentially took out the blind dado parameter and replaced it with one inch or 25.4 millimeters. Uh, and that way, uh, essentially, you can still do full dado uh, face frame builds, uh, but use a blind dado drawer box. So really, this is uh, open to, to all build types still. You'll just need to use the fixed version or the parametric version uh, as you need to. All right. While I'm in here, the other thing you're going to see is if I click on back detail, I'm going to go to operations and I'm going to flip this part over. You can see I've got uh, the holes here for the, the hooks on the back of uh, your undermount guides. And I set this up for uh, tandems, for blooms. And you can see the diameter here is actually set to six millimeters. Now, that is per bloom. That is their specification. Uh, some people uh, don't have a six millimeter bit in their CNC, right? It's, it's actually unlikely. And so uh, you can go ahead and set this to five if you'd like. Just know that the hole is going to be a little tight. Um, but you're free to change that uh, as you see fit. If you've got a six, go ahead and keep it at six. Just know they're coming to you uh, set per bloom at a six millimeter uh, diameter. Go ahead and press okay there. So there you go. You can go ahead and import the boxes you get. Press this import button. And you'll be able to select whichever ones you want after you download them from frostcnc.com. Once they're imported, you'll see exactly what you see here. We can press okay and they will start to show up in your drawer box list here and use them. And just like any drawer, the materials are dependent on what you've got for your material template. The drawers will work just like any other drawer box uh, you've got. So let's go take a look at it out here in the room. We'll turn on high detail. And this is the 3 16 version. Uh, you can see a full 3 16 depth here. We've got our blind dado joinery, 
And we've got a full front. And so those of you who are using undermounts and have your locking devices, you can still see you can mount them there. Got a plant on back so there's no notching. And there's your finished blind dado box. Now I'm going to switch over to the 16th inch version. I'm going to go to drawer tray boxes. I'm going to go to 16th blind dado parametric. And the reason I made this one is uh, for those that want to put these together with pocket screws. So if I go look at this box now, you can see it's a lot shallower. And for those that want to join with pocket screws here, there's a lot of meat left on the side. And so you can actually get a screw into the side to pull this together. And I do have an image of that box here. You can see a very shallow 16th blind dado here. It actually opened up a glue surface on this pre-finished material. And it provides a little lip so when you pocket screw this in, the part doesn't move on you. And there's a finished box uh, in pre-finished plywood. So it's a pretty nice way to do a quick, or efficient, you know, cost-effective drawer box. We'll go back here. There you go. So if you want a, a nice blind dado box uh, in Mosaic, go ahead and go to FrostCNC.com and get that uh, drawer box. And away you go. So we'll see you at the next video.